Hey guys, it's Deacon again. Just uh, giving you another update here. Everything's still alive and kicking. There's uh, my jalapeno plant off the side. I've already pulled uh, what I pull. Probably, I did five quarts of uh, jalapeno rings. And then uh, I gave away quite a few. I probably pulled about, I don't know, 100 jalapenos off there or so. And you could see that everything's growing back. So if I keep these things alive for another month, I'll probably get a second batch off of them. Should be kind of cool. Um, all my tomato plants are large. I don't know, I haven't done an update in a long time. So um, they are at the, about the 10 foot mark right now, but I've lowered them probably four, four feet or so. Let's say there's a pretty good loop there. And they're actually kind of filling up my whole greenhouse. But uh, lots of tomatoes, a lot of salsa, a lot of tomato sauce. Uh, the cucumbers, uh, I thought I got powdery mildew real bad, so I started re removing all the leaves down here. It's actually, um, when I removed the leaves, it, it kind of boosted it up to where it started growing more cucumbers. So there's lots of new blossoms up there. I, they're growing all the way across the top now. So, gosh, that one cucumber is probably, oh gosh, 10 feet, 10 feet up, 5 feet out, so 15 feet long or something, a cucumber plant. But I've kept it, I've kept it to a single, a single stem, so I didn't really want to mess this here. Everything's single stem. I've been hacking and cutting, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We're getting kind of late in the season now. There's not much going on kind of picking tomatoes off as they as they come and doing what what I will with them but Anaheim's I just pulled off a four gallon bucket of Anaheim's um, as well as doing a bunch of chilarianos last night and I got uh, one left up here and it's kind of a funny story, but I, uh, my kids catch frogs in the, in the yard. And, uh, you know, they're, the kids are young, so they're kind of rough on the frogs. And, you know, I always kind of fear for their safety. So I put one up here at the very beginning of the season. And I thought it was gone, but I don't know if you could see, but there he is. My little frog in here. Kept him safe all season. He's getting old now. He used to be pretty small, but now he's now he's a big old dog. Fun stuff. Um. Oh boy, the cayennes are maturing well. There's quite a few in there. Beautiful pepper. But I mean, it's just loaded with them. And then the bell peppers are doing pretty good. The walls on these things are amazingly thick. I mean, each pepper probably weighs over a pound, at least. Um, they feel like they're solid baseballs when you pull them off. And then there's the, the wall on them is probably half an inch thick, which is pretty cool. Um, these purple cherries, Man, they're kind of a failure. I, I've probably pulled maybe 40 tomatoes off this, off this plant. And uh, the ones I, I was giving out earlier in the season, people hated them because, I don't know if you could tell, but they're, they're green on the bottom here. Let's see if I can get that into focus here. But when they're green on the bottom, don't eat them. They are disgusting. As you can see, you get down into these ones a little bit. And uh, they get a little bit redder throughout. Those are the good ones. But they take forever to get there. So don't expect <laughs> to be eating these every day like you would uh, any kind of other cherry, you know, cherry tomato. Because they are not prolific at all. I mean, they'll, they'll produce quite a few, but I mean, these have been growing since May. 
and you can see I'm still I've lowered them maybe maybe once and here's you can still see these are some of the first bundles on there and they're still not really red so won't be doing those again next year not my favorite Okay, well that kind of concludes it. Oh, another <laughs> another kind of cool thing that happened is where my greenhouse was uh, last year. I uh, some cherry tomatoes grew just right out of the ground. It was kind of cool. I didn't plant them or nothing. They just uh, must have had the seeds fall from from last year's cherry tomatoes, and these actually didn't come up till August. So. They're growing like crazy and this is the uh, west side of my house so uh, when the sun hits this dark color house it gets really hot and they just must be loving it because they are growing fast i mean i'm six foot tall and um right about there is the top of them so they're six feet six feet plus right now but i kind of hate cherry tomatoes so i don't know i just let them grow let people pick off of them. Okay, until next time. All right, bye.